Hey everybody, this is Vito Giswaldi here for GameZone.com, and we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles. It is the latest RPG for the Nintendo Wii. It's probably going to be the last good Nintendo Wii game, unless uh, Last Story or Pandora's Tower come out over here. And if you don't know the story of this one, it's kind of interesting. Basically, this game came out in Japan, got great scores. Came out in Europe, fully, fully localized, full English dialogue. Uh, they loved it. And then American fans said, Hey, Nintendo, we uh, we can't wait to play Xenoblade Chronicles. And Nintendo of America said, Whoa, you guys aren't getting that. You got... No. That game's for nerds. The Wii is built for grandmothers. Okay? Who want to swing sticks at the screen. Well, enough angry nerds yelled at Nintendo. So we now have Xenoblade Chronicles. Coming out April 6th. Check out this little opening scene here. The great creation myth. In the beginning, there was two robots beating the shit out of each other. It's the kind of Bible I would read. And they were just getting it done. One of them blocked with his totally sweet cyber sword, and the other one came in underhand, just stabbed him. Oh! Underhand. It's like pitching a softball. Cross cut. Boom. Dude, you cut off my... I don't even know what that was. But you cut it off. Is that his arm? The Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Oh! Big damage. Cool. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. So their whole world that they live on is the lifeless, like, husk of a god. Kind of badass. Although I guess it sucks that it's, uh now overrun with robot monsters. Ah, robot monsters! So the game's graphics, like, are obviously, like, GameCube graphics. And to be honest, there's so much going on, it almost seems like they're worse than GameCube graphics, because they just wanted to be able to have so much stuff on the screen. But I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with crappy graphics. The texture on this hill is awful, though. <laughs> Ah, whatever. God, I wish the Wii was a uh, high definition, but it ain't. It's a. Uh, it's meant for playing shake the stick at the screen games, which is why it's baffling to me that this game was made for the Wii. They're advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Oh yeah. The art style is pretty good for this game. I feel like everybody's eyes have like way too huge pupils. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of They also did not match the mouths to the English dialogue, but whatever. Time spent hanging around here and we're done for. Count me in. We got to get out of here or we can stay and fight. What? We may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. I'm going with yeah. you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Let's kick some ass. You two, we've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? The voice actors are very clearly British. That guy just said, oi. It's no or 
Oi, let's do it. Let's kick some ass. The one thing that sucks is that this game is on the Wii, so there's a lot of loading. Like right now, it's loading, and now everything's froze, so it should could load this uh, one screen. L or R to target a monster. Got it. I want that one. A little bit of loading to load this screen. That's gonna load up the battle. If you're too far, yeah. So if you get close to it, you'll just be attacking it as long as you're locked onto it. Um, so you kind of want to stay around its back, obviously. And, uh, you have the ability to use the D-pad to get at your special abilities. This one lets my buddies hurt the robots. So you kind of want to enchant them right away, so that they're actually doing some damage along with you. And this one is just super devastating. Kind of try and get in a line right near everybody. But it's wide enough that you can usually take out a couple guys with it. Uh, and then target more of them, and start attacking. So R to target, A button to start the battle. I mean, obviously this is the tutorial battle, you're not going to lose it. But maybe you suck at video games and have found a way to do that. Come on. So it's slowly building up my special abilities. There we go. And now I can use... No, not that one. Crazy attack. Boom. How did not hit that guy? He's like right there. Do it. Alright, good. What else? You got more of these stupid things? Luckily they're all outside this uh, big green glowing barrier for no reason. Alright, so target it. And the thing is... This is kind of weird, that if you don't engage it in battle, oh, I guess it will eventually try to attack you. Some enemies will just, like, look at you and not do anything. Alright. Are my buddies still enchanted? I don't even know. I guess I should try it again. Make sure we're all damaging the thing. And big damage here. Boom. With my magic sword. Another one. Ooh. Oh, he's got a gun blade. I didn't even realize that. I ain't going down that easily. Tombat, are you alright? Oh, what does it look like? I'm still good to go. <laughs> yes, even a hero's got to reach his limit eventually. Monka, what are you doing? That way is. Sorry, brothers. I mean, I, I can't really argue with this guy's logic. I mean, I don't know why he's got to be a dick about it, but there are like 10,000 robots coming this way. I'd be like, you know what, I'm out. I'm, I'm gonna bail. Bail! Look, they got lasers and stuff. I think crappy Wolverine has the right idea.
think the hops, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off. You are sorely mistaken. Oh, time to bring the rage cage. We don't get to see him bring the rage cage. We gotta pan all the way back to this tree. What? Dude, it's so cool that they live on top of that thing. Xenoblade Chronicles! I'm excited. on M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Smart thinking. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. Sixty-nine. Its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to. Don't hump the thing. Shoot. Boom. Right. Well, that weapon is totally badass. Alright, so now we get to meet the main character. Yeah, when the HP gauge is down, I'll be incapacitated. This game really assumes I've never played an RPG before. It actually plays a lot like an MMO in a way. Uh, just the just the way you can run around pretty much everywhere and everybody's attacking. Yes, I know I can't use my thing over and over. But you can see that with every hit I do, that little gauge in the middle is filling up. Which lets me use it again. Well, I can't use the super attack yet. I could use heal, but I don't think we need it. I think this thing's gonna die before we need any of this, actually. And more loading. So whenever stuff dies, there's usually a treasure chest right there. It really does feel a lot like an MMO. Including these very sparse <laughs> stuff you got uh, lists. Just like, you got all this stuff, here's a list. Alright, defeat the monster to make the barrier disappear. Where's the monster? What are you talking about? This guy? Common Caterpie? It's gonna evolve into a common Metapod? Alright. Come on now. No, don't look at me, look at him. So I attack you from behind. Extra damage. I agree, we should keep up the pressure. Boom! What's up? 